Welcome to The Interest, I'm Christine Stewart. Today, we'll hear from LaDonna Lockard, who's filling in for David Luna during this week's Smashing the Crystal Ball. And later, our own Vincent Valvo offers a non-QM quip. But first, it's been three years since UWM issued its ultimatum to prevent brokers from doing business with its rival, Rocket Pro TPO and Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation. While the courts have so far sided with UWM, at least one broker is questioning on Facebook whether it's best for the broker community. During our interview last week, he joked that he stopped drinking the Kool-Aid and the letter was sent to intimidate him. Let's hear what he had to say. I thought that they were wasting trees. You know? That's what Ramon Walker of Client Direct Mortgage thought when he received a cease and desist order from United Wholesale Mortgage for his Rocket Pro TPO versus UWM Facebook group. At this point, it, it, it's changed. It's kind of transitioned into this, like, I don't know, controlling, intimidating, manipulative sort of, um, you know, you get a little taste of that and it's a slippery slope. And I think, uh, and I'm afraid, we're kind of like on that slope, if you will. That's why he also stopped doing business with UWM in December. The December 14th letter asked Walker to delete any comments or content that would be considered false or defamatory. I don't work for you. I'm not going to be your filtration system. It's not my job. It's not my responsibility. I can't, I can't manage what thousands of people say. I have a family. I have a business. In addition, the letter also asked him to pay back years worth of EPOs. And then the <laughs> audacity to send me that bill. Two years later, after I've, you know, all the money that I've made for them and then try to frame it in a way that you did something for me, oh, I know they're, they've are they lost their minds. UWM declined comment for this story, but Walker says he's just trying to provide a voice for the broker community. So I just want to show people I have nothing to be afraid of. And let's just get back to competing. Everybody compete. I need a healthy broker channel. I need a healthy. I can't just have uh, Matt Ishbia running the whole, the whole channel. To get the full scoop, read the article on nationalmortgageprofessional.com. Reporting for The Interest, I'm Christine Stewart. Angel AI is revolutionizing the home financing process. Here to tell us about it is Pavan Agarwal, the CEO of Celligens, the company behind this new amazing app. Tell us how Angel AI is helping the home financing process. We use empathetic AI technology so Angel AI understands the emotions behind human input so that the application to approval to close of a mortgage is nearly free of human touch and free of human error and is lightning fast compared to the manual standards of the real estate industry today. What about the people who have found it hard to get a mortgage? Angel AI has made the approval process for mortgages fair and transparent such that we have cut the decline rates for minority communities by half relative to the national average. Just go to angelai.com or click the Ask Angel AI Now button and ask Angel AI your home finance questions or simply ask her to send you one of these cool free t-shirts. Angel AI has transferred the home financing business and made it fairer and easier for everyone. This is LaDonna Lockard for The Interest. Feels like just yesterday that I was talking to you about the cybersecurity incident that affected First American Title right here on The Interest. And unfortunately, the topic of Failing security measures is already back to the top of the news cycle. Another cybersecurity attack is bringing with it havoc. And with that, we're feeling a bit of deja vu as Lone Depot yet again finds themselves having to answer for a cybersecurity incident that took some of their services offline. The company is currently working with law enforcement and forensic experts to investigate the full scope of the incident. But it isn't a great look for the lender who in May of 2023 disclosed a data breach also resulting from a cyber attack that occurred in August of 2022 that exposed customer data. Mr. Cooper also recently suffered a cyber attack, which exposed the personal data of nearly 15 million of its customers. So what does this mean for you? I wish it was as simple as use a more secure password, keep your programs up to date. But when the victims of these attacks are large scale corporations, we can only assume that they've already taken precautions to try to patch vulnerabilities. 
routine cybersecurity audit should be at the top of your to-do list as it's projected that the rates of these attacks will only continue to increase in 2024. State and federal agencies are doing their best to draft and pass new regulations to keep customers' private information secure, and you certainly do not want to be used as a case study for their proposals. So what do you do if you do find yourself falling victim to a cybersecurity incident? Well, your response time matters. Take quick action by contacting authorities, self-report, and notify your customers of the scope of the incident and what your plan is by way of mitigating the damage done. Implement a solid cybersecurity plan now as it's always better to anticipate the worst while planning for the best. For The Interest, I'm LaDonna Lockard. In the realm of loans, let's explore. Non-QM mortgages, we adore. For those who don't fit traditional credits remit, they open a different financial door. For more on these and all of today's top stories, go to nationalmortgageprofessional.com.